In this problem, we're given the feasible region below, which is the shaded region given by this quadrilateral. Remember, for a linear programming problem, the feasible region is a solution to the system of inequalities which make up the constraints. We want to find the maximum and minimum value of the objective function, p equals six x plus five y, and the fundamental theorem of linear programming tells us that the max and min values of the objective function under the given constraints occur at the corners or vertices of the feasible region. So for the next step, we'll find the coordinates of our vertices. Notice how there are four of them. Then we'll sub the x and y values into our function p to determine the max and min values. So notice how this vertex has coordinates one comma one. Here we have coordinates six comma three. Here we have coordinates eight comma six. And here we have coordinates two comma eight. Now we'll find p of one comma one. So we'll substitute one for x and one for y. So we'd have six times one plus five times one, which equals 11. Next we'll find p of six comma three. So we'll substitute six for x and three for y. So we have six times six plus five times three which would be 36 plus 15, which equals 51. Next, we have P of eight comma six, which is equal to six times eight plus five times six, which gives us 48 plus 30, which equals 78. And finally, we have P of two comma eight. So we'd have six times two plus five times eight, which equals 12 plus 40, which equals 52. So the largest value is the maximum of the objective function, and the smallest value is the minimum of the objective function. So notice how we have a maximum of 78 at the point eight comma six, or when x equals eight and y equals six, and we have a minimum of 11 at the point one comma one, or when x equals one and y equals one. Let's go ahead and write this out. The maximum of p is 78 at eight comma six, or when x equals eight and y equals six, the minimum of p is 11 at one comma one, or when x equals one and y equals one. Remember, these are the maximum values of p under the constraints which gave us this feasible region. I hope you found this helpful.